Now one thing I forgot to show you in the last video is what this 12 column looked like on larger screens. So when we get to about this size, uh, we're at sort of I guess your tablet and when we get a little bit bigger, this is more like your medium sized device and if I stretch it out all the way, it becomes your large screen. Now remember I said the container class was optional. So what the container class is doing is it's centering your row on the device screen and um, it's preventing it from stretching full screen. If we were to take this container class out and I don't know, why don't I just delete it, come back and save it and refresh, you'll see that my row has stretched all the way across the screen. Now for most of my videos I like to use the container um, it's just a personal preference. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm not doing anything uh, with the row and column classes that require it to be wrapped in a container. So uh, that's completely your option. Anyway, moving along, I'm going to create a new row. And in this row, I'm going to show you how to uh, split these columns into two. So I'm going to go with column-xs-6 and I want two of these and I'm I'm using this plugin for Sublime called Emmet I think it used to be called Zend or something like that I can't remember but it's called Emmet now anyway and it's a plugin and it it just sort of helps me type a little bit faster I'm kind of slow anyway inside of these divs I'm just going to type actually I'm going to copy and paste this because I'm a slow typer and I'm lazy Put six, and then six right there, and I'll just copy this up here. And how about instead of blue background, we'll go with uh, yellow, and then for color, we'll go black. And I'll save it. Come back over here and refresh. What did I forget? Forgot to change the class name though. Okay, sorry. That's better. Uh, you can hardly tell because of them being the same color. Why don't I add a border over here? And refresh it there. Uh, now we have our grid into two columns here. And um, if we resize the screen you'll see that they remain two columns as the screen get large, gets larger. Um, now because the highest number of columns we can go to is 12, uh, we have to make sure that when we create a div with the class of row and we put our column classes in there, uh, we have to be sure that we don't use any two numbers or any combination of numbers that are greater than 12. So I couldn't put 6 and 9 in here because that would be greater than 12 and it would throw off my grid over here. It's just not going to work. So um, it's pretty important to keep in mind. Um, why don't I go ahead and create another row. Let's go down a bit. Actually, that's better. Let me create another div. And I'm going to give it a class of row. And for this one, why don't we go ahead and look into some nesting. Now, nesting columns uh, is pretty easy. I'm going to go with div extra small 12 column. And within that, I'm going to add another row. Now rows and nesting are technically infinite because all of these classes here are percentage based and uh, it's pretty, um, pretty straightforward. So for my first row I'm going to put, or actually I should say my first nested column, I'm going to throw in a div here and I'm going to give it a column 
four. Oops. And then I'm going to copy that. But for my second one, I'm going to give it a column of eight. So copy this here, paste it there. I'll paste this here and put an eight. And then I'll go ahead and copy this, paste it right there. And for four, how about a background of green? And I'll give it a color of white. And then copy it again. And for eight, how about, I don't know, red? And then uh, black for color. And I'll save it. And let me just double check and make sure. Um, again, what I have here is a row for my layout. And within that row, I have a 12 column div. And I've nested two more divs within that. Let me go ahead and save it. Come over here and refresh. And after I refresh, you'll see that uh, the columns are set up and they're going to be slightly smaller. Again, make sure that you don't go higher than 12. Now, if you're looking at the code, you're probably wondering why I even nested these in the first place. I mean, technically, I didn't have to. I could have just avoided all of this code here, this row, this extra row, and this extra column class and just added these two in here uh, like above. Um, there's a reason for that and that's because when I get to my medium size screen um, I'm gonna wanna push both of these over to the left. Uh, I'll get more into that later but for now I'll just stick to the mobile first layout and I'm gonna create my last row And for this row, I'm going to have three divs. And they're going to be extra small, 12. So and I'll copy this here and paste them within the div save it and when I refresh you'll see that they become stacked um, why don't I go ahead um, I'll just call this footer and up here let's see how about the footer and I'll copy this actually since they're already 12 I'll copy this one and paste it right there and then I'll go ahead and use the border here so you can see that uh, they're stacked oops there we go don't forget to add that space in there or else it's not going to work. Okay, so I have my three footer column set up and I think this is as far as I'm going to take it with the mobile layout. In my next video, or the next few videos, we're going to go from the small device to the medium sized device. So that's about this size right here. And what we'll do is we'll show you how you can modify this layout uh, to have a different appearance on uh, bigger screens. And we'll work our way all the way up to uh, very large. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, like my videos, find me on social media, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.